Alright everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're going to be looking at a deck that also made the top 8 at Anaheim, another deck, I don't know, but we, I don't know any of the lists for like the St. Louis, or the, uh, the other tournament that was streamed that day too, I, I can't remember what it was called, but it was the one in Europe, so yeah, now before we get into this, I want to say something, so I left a comment on my video on the Rayquaza deck saying, that I've been feeling a little less motivated to make videos recently, and that, that is kind of true. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying my channel is in the worst position in the world. Views have dropped significantly since, you know, before. You know, before my views were a little better. Now they've, they've dropped a little bit more. And it's because of Dead Cycle and YouTube. I'm not the only YouTuber who's kind of been having lower view counts than usual. There's a lot of, like, even bigger named YouTubers. Even PewDiePie, his views are low too for 53 million subs so i'm not like in that but also my sub growth has been abysmal i mean some days i'll upload a video and i won't gain a single sub and instead i'll just like lose a couple subscribers that day and i won't gain a single one so it just it feels like i'm just wasting my time sometimes so it's like man i put so much effort in my video and then you know i upload it and then i just drop a few subscribers and don't gain any that day for whatever reason i don't know why people would unsub for me for whatever i mean maybe they just got sick and tired, I, I don't know, but the thing is, is I'm kind of getting, it's kind of demotivating, and it really has kind of made me lose a little bit of interest in making videos, but I'm not gonna stop, I'm not gonna stop, it's not gonna stop me unless, like, it truly gets bad, or to the point where, like, my channel, my views, like, drop really badly, and then, like, I keep losing subs, and I barely gain any, then, yeah, I'm probably gonna be done with YouTube, but, you know what, it's a little demotivating, I'm gonna try and fight through it, I don't know, I just want to get that off my chest, that's just been bothering me recently, because just for the past, like, week or so, it's just been, like, it's, my channel has just been dying, and I, I, you know, I try to make a little meme out of it, because I've seen that before with other YouTubers, um, they've kind of, like, been like, hey, my channel's dead, oh, let's make a meme out of it, I don't know, that's what I did, but anyways, quit the chit-chatter, let's get into the deck, yes, this deck is quad Mewtwo, it does not run any Mewtwo IEXs, which is really fascinating, um, so what this deck basically is, is it revolves around using Mewtwo's damage change more than anything else, and you'll see why damage change is so relevant in this deck. So, we got Shattershot, which, it's not the greatest attack, 1 for 30, 30 times the amount of energy on this Pokemon, it's not really that great of an attack, but, if we stack so much energy on it, we can actually make Shattershot sweep. You can actually turn Mewtwo into a pretty big tank with shatter shot and damage change, like, it'd be like, okay, you, I got a lot of damage on me, I'm gonna swap the damage, boom. Now, one cool thing that you can do with Damage Change, I guess what this deck aims to do, the deck does play three copies of Lysander, which is pretty crazy. Three Lysanders, and you're probably like, why would this deck ever need three Lysanders? Like, Shatter Shot isn't going to one-shot stuff on the bench. It's actually because of Damage Change. Now, when you use Damage Change, you don't want to do it when your opponent has damage counters on them. I mean, sometimes you would. But most of the time, you want to kind of damage change something that has no damage counters on it. The best way to do that is to use Lysander. You're going to Lysander something up that has taken that has no damage on it, and then you just damage change with that Pokemon. Probably either one knocking them out, or two, basically putting damage on them, and then fully healing your Mewtwo, and then you can finish them off with Shattershot. That is kind of how this deck works. I think it's a pretty cool combo, and it did make a top 8 at in one of the divisions. I forgot, I think it was Seniors for Anaheim, and I wanted to cover this deck because I thought it was a really cool idea, you know, you, I haven't really seen a deck revolving mainly around Mewtwo EX as your main attacker, I've seen it with Lunala, but I've never really seen this combo actually come to full fruition, and this deck is what it's all about, it's a cool idea, and I think we should take a look at it, so that's why I'm covering it, so yeah, it uses these Lysaners to bring something up with no damage, then you can damage change that Pokemon, bing bada boom, how it works. Shatter Shot, you kind of just sweep. Also, I mean, this deck isn't too bad against Mewtwo Y EX, I guess, because Shatter Shot can just plow through Mewtwo Ys, kind of. I mean, it does take quite a bit of energy, but it's still pretty, it's a good way to deal with Mewtwo Y matchups. Um, so in general, I think it's a cool concept. I think this deck has a lot of flaws, the biggest flaw being um, Darkrai. Darkrai probably poops on this deck, um, just because it's resistant to Psychic. You're not really going to have an easy time beating Darkrai, I'll say that right now. I think this deck probably would get pummeled by Darkrai, because once they start getting enough energy in play, they can just go straight around damage change and one-shot you. So, I think this deck has some good matchups, some bad matchups. I think its worst matchup by far is Darkrai, just because, again, they're, they're, they manipulate the energy. You, just, you, you 
I don't think you can beat Darkrai. So, there you go. But maybe, you know, if we run in Darkrai, maybe we can play a game against Darkrai and try and beat it. I don't know. I mean, again, it struggles against Darkrai. This deck also might have some issues with Tauros, just because, you, you, I mean, you're going to have to build up a Shatter Shot to one-shot Tauros, and that's not really the best strategy. So, this deck can kind of struggle with Tauros a little bit, too, I think. I still think this deck is cool, and definitely in the right matchup, I think this deck could actually be pretty awesome. Like, maybe Volcanion, where once you get the Garbodor going, they one-shot you, then you can damage change Lysander them. So, it's a cool deck idea. We're going to look at it. So, we got four Mewtwo EXs with Shadow Shot. One Hoopa, since we got the Mewtwo's. I just realized I didn't put my fuller Hoopa in this deck, because I copied this deck list from Pokemon.com. And it's all... We never copy a deck, I swear. Is it just me? Or whenever you copy a deck list from Pokemon.com, it, like, mixes up the rarity of your cards. Like, sometimes it'll, like, put my... It'll give me, like, half full arts, half non-full arts. When I have a full play set of full arts, it's, it's really weird. I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, but it does that a lot. Maybe it's just because, like, it copies what the guy, what the person had in the deck. So, I guess, I mean, if you didn't have a full blinged out deck, then obviously, but it's, they should be able to do that. It's kind of weird, but, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. So, we got two Shaman's Frostport. We do run 2-2 two, two Garb. Garbage is really good in this deck, so you can just, you know, shut down all abilities, like Greninja, Shaman, even, Dragonite, you know, Greninja Break, Volcanion being a big one, so there's a lot of stuff you can shut down. So, we got two, two of those. And it's basically similar to a Mewtwo deck in that regards, Mewtwo Y deck. So we got four Max Elixirs. It's a great card just to get energy in play. Again, Shadow Shot is a good attack too if you want to kind of use that. And it's a good way to power a Mewtwo on the bench. One Super Rod, get back some stuff you need. Four Mail, since we do have a lot of important items. Four Ultra Ball for searching. Four Versus Seeker for our supporters. And this obviously works well because we have the three Lysaners for the damage change thing. This deck did play two Parallel Cities. Probably just against Mega Ray and just hurting your opponent a little bit. It's a great uh, great stadium. Probably the best, I don't know, it might be the best stadium in the format, to be honest with you. Uh, three Lysander, again, we went over this. We need them for damage change. Uh, 4N, I don't know why this deck had 4N. It's a little weird why it runs a total of 4 of them. But hey, you know what, I copied this deck list from Pokemon.com. It's not my deck list, it's whoever made it top 8. I'll probably just link the article in the description. I might even put a screenshot on screen. At the beginning of the video, so I don't know, but yeah, it does play 4N for some reason. I don't know. Max draw sport. One Olympia. This is great at switching stuff out, and also it's just good to heal stuff too, but mostly switching. And yeah, we got three floats um, to go along with that, so it's all all good. We got one Center Lady. Center Lady healing Mewtwo with damage change can be good, because he might actually have the damage change something with damage on it. I don't know. Four Sycamore draw sport. Three belts giving Mewtwo more HP makes it harder to knock out, and also gives you more damage, which can be good against me too. Why sometimes, I guess. I don't know. We got three floats for Garb, so you can maximize the Garbotoxin. Also, it's good to have a float stone on Hoopas and stuff. And it does play a total of 11 Psychic. It's a good amount, because most of the time you're going to have a ton of energies on your Mewtwo for Shatter Shot, or just have three on them. And with Super Audit, I think it balances out good. A lot of energy with Max Elixir is always a good thing. So, this is the Quad Mewtwo deck here. Um, that is made top 8 at, Ana at uh, Anaheim in one of the deck uh, divisions. Sorry. So, I don't know which one it was. We'll find out in the video. Anyways, we'll hop into a video right now. So, see you guys in just a sec. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's fight a game with our quadruple Mewtwo deck. The craziest deck I've ever seen in my life. It's a cool idea, though, too. You know, Mewtwo's always a fun Pokemon to play. So, who knows? We'll see how this game ends up going. Playing against Hicks, who... Hmm, this is going to be Dark Eyes, so the Leo, isn't it? Hmm, this is a brutal matchup. Is so the Leo also is a psychic, man. Maybe it's Evil Tall Garb with the Jirachi. I'm actually hoping it's... I'm, I honestly would rather play against Evil Tall because, again, Darkrai is... Darkrai is, like, our worst matchup because we are resistant. And even if they have Sogaleo, it doesn't help things either. Because Sogaleo is resistant to Psychic too, And it one-shots us, even with the belt on. So, it's, it's like, literally the worst matchup we could have asked for. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised this deck made top 8. Honestly. I mean, it must have been, like, the lack of Darkrai decks, I guess. But, I don't know. It's interesting that this deck managed to get top 8, but hey, I'm not gonna, you know, sit there and be like, huh. Uh, but what I will say is, though, my opponent is not playing. And it ain't fun, because we're gonna play some Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, like, it's crazy this make deck made top 8. I'd rather prefer this more of like a rogue kind of deck, you know, run-of-the-mill rogue more than anything. Uh, we lose the coin flip, which makes life even better, because now we're not going to be able to get as much energy and play on our first turn, which is going to be fun. Um, so let's just hope it's not Dark Eye Sogaleo, just because we're going to be screwed if it is. But hey, you know what? If it is, we'll put up a fight. We'll try and win. 
But I guess, you know, more than anything, I can show off why I think this matchup, this matchup is really bad. Why I think Darkrai is your worst matchup, so, you know, why not? It's still a cool deck idea. It has potential. Ah, uh, but who knows? Who knows? So, alright, we just gotta wait. And, uh, I mean, our hand ain't too bad. I don't really want to burn a Max Lixers. Hopefully this mail gives me that. But we actually see a Trubbish. So, I think this actually is going to be Eveltal. Hmm. I'm kind of hoping it was thing. The Veltal could be tricky too with the Tauros, but we'll see. So he gets rid of a Garb and Atheist Seeker. He's probably expecting me to run Mewtwo Y Garbodor too. Then I guess, but uh, jokes on you. I literally only play four Mewtwo EXs. I mean, he's attack with Hoopa too. I guess. I mean, gotta remember you can also attack with Hoopa, but I don't. Know. You never really would want to. But you know, your main attack is Mewtwo. So okay, it is going to be Eveltal. So he does run one Jirachi from the looks of it. Which does not affect us because we don't play any special energy. So we see an Ultra Ball. Let's see what he grabs. Via Seeker. He gets rid of a Hammer. Okay, he does get rid of Via Seeker, meaning he probably has a Sycamore in his hand. Uh, nope. Looks like he had to burn it. Um, I kind of wish he would be like, I'm going to hold on to that Enhanced Hammer because this dude probably plays Mewtwo YEX. That's a cool thing you do this deck. You kind of bait people into thinking you're playing Mewtwo Y, so they kind of caution themselves for the Mewtwo Y matchup, but. You're actually just playing Mewtwo. I mean, that could be a really funny, like, troll you could do with this deck. You can throw people off, because no one really expects you to play a quad Mewtwo deck. People expect this to be a, a Mewtwo Y matchup, so that's a cool way you can troll people, I guess, is to just make them think that it's Mewtwo Y. So, yeah, but this, it could be a difficult matchup. Ninja Boy Tauros is what I'm mostly scared of. So you see a belt going on. As long as he's putting Pokemon on his bench so we can damage change, it's good. We need to build up a Mewtwo quickly, though. Um, I mean, if he keeps his Trubbish in the active for a while, I'm not going to complain. There's an Ultra Ball getting rid of Ranger and... What? Weaver Falls? Okay, what? Oh, what? Huh? Is this supposed to be like some kind of Solgaleo evil told it? I'm actually kind of thinking that it is because I don't know if he's scared of like the matchup with Zipstrika. I, I, I've seen a drop off in Zipstrika's popularity recently because of... I don't know, I've... I, I've seen less of Striker. I'm kind of confused. Um, and okay, good. He had nothing else. Can we top like a Pokemon? No, we get an energy. Okay, let's see. What do we get? We do get a bell. Which I'll take. I really don't want to burn this Max Elixir though. It's kind of annoying because I want to keep it. But it is what it is. We could maybe Lysander Evel Tall and trap it. He might not have an energy in his hand either. Um,. That's a possibility. Let's parallel city him. You know, if he's holding on to a shaman or something, he can't, you know, he can't do a shaman play. Let's just go sick more. We need to get more Pokemon to play. So, I, uh, yeah, let's see. Can we find anything? Can we get a Trubbish, which is kind of useless. So, I guess we could just burn Trubbish and Garb. There's really no point keeping them. Grab another Mewtwo or Hoopa. Nope, Hoopa's prize. Never mind. I was going to grab that. But no, it looks like our Hoopa is prize. But it is what it is. So, we'll play down Mewtwo. We'll go with the Max Elixir, and, alright, nice. As long as we keep hitting energy, I'm happy. Uh, we'll mail, see if we can find, like, another Max Elixir or something. Get a belt. Okay, we can put that under the Mewtwo, that's, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I guess I have the Sigmar next turn. I don't have enough energy on our Pokemon to do a knockout. I have to sneeze, but we can knock out this Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, sorry, guys. I had to sneeze so badly there. And before Dab Cringe. Um, so let's just hope the last thing in his hand is a, uh... Like, nothing, like, he, he, let's just hope he has a dead hand. It's kind of weird that he plays Weakness Policy, that's like the weirdest thing that I've ever seen in Evil Tall deck. I guess he's really scared of the match of Zipstrika, but other than that, there's really no other lightning threats to deal with. Maybe Jolteon, but I haven't seen too much Jolteon, especially with the rise of, uh, GXs. Jolteon has really dropped off in popularity. I'm assuming he's going to bring out the Fright Night Evil Tall, that's what I would bring out. Um, if, you know, if he brings up the Evil Tall EX... If he doesn't have an energy, it's kind of just stuck. But if you bring up the baby evil tall, he can slow me down, I guess. If, you know, he wants to do that, even though I don't think he can. Might as well just build up a damage change. Um, no, he doesn't bring up evil tall. Alright, so he has to have an energy in his hand. Hopefully he doesn't get any supporters anytime soon. If he keeps dead drawing, I'm going to be happy. Hopefully he doesn't play Ninja Boy Tauros either. We know he plays Colorless because of the Shaman, but does he also play Tauros? That's the thing. If he doesn't play Tauros, then I'm going to be happy because Tauros uh, can be a very difficult Pokemon to deal with. So, yeah.
but we'll see if he gets anything. Two cards in his hand, I mean, if we, if this deck had Delinquent, it'd be so cool, we get Delinquent in his hand, make him lose all of his Pokemon, or whatever he's holding on to, it would be sweet, but we can't, because we don't know what's in his hand, so, yeah, we just gotta wait, uh, my opponent might be AFK, I'm not gonna go play him, so, let's see, what is going on with my opponent? Alright, now hopefully though next turn we can start getting some max elixirs. We need to try and build up more energy so that we have like more Mewtwo's to respond with. We need to kind of just swarm him with Mewtwo. That's like our best way to win. No, okay, so he's not playing for the looks of it. If he's holding on to Ninja Boy, I'm gonna cry. So we can put that on, we can go with the Sycamore. Um, whoops, I almost ended my turn by accident. Alright, let's see, what do we get? We got another Mewtwo. We can put him down, I guess. We can grab Shade Dig, I guess, but with that evil tall Fright Knight in play, uh, I don't really trust it. Let's just hit him for 70. Not a whole lot of damage, I know. I know I dug with Shaman. I probably should have. We're gonna, I think, is that our last, that's our last Via Seeker, I think. We are gonna run low on Via Seekers soon, too, if we're not careful. So we gotta be careful for that. Um, but best case scenario, my opponent is not playing. So, let's find out. But, okay, I'll probably, okay, you know, we'll put the float onto the Mewtwo so we have something for your treat. I, I might, I guess we'll dig with Shay. We need to, I don't want to end him with that hand either. That's the thing. I don't want to lose all my Versus Seekers either. So, this is a really weird position right now. I'm not going to lie. But, hey, what can you do? Can he attack me, though? Um, but he's not really playing. Like, I'm not really seeing any, like, plays for my opponent. Okay, I, he, he's got to be AFK. Do we top to get energy? Hey, my boy. We can't knock this evil tall out though. Um I'm, I might even just hold on just for center lady to do damage change. Nah. I don't know. Let's float this. Hmm. I'm just gonna chatter shot. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I he might even be playing. So, you know, he's got low AP. Worst case scenario, this dude ninja boys into a Tauros and then rages me. Or Mad Bull GX, even though Rage... Actually, no, Rage would knock me out, because I had the belt on the strike. So, I'm just glad he's not playing. He probably has a supporter in his hand by now, but he's not playing, so... Hmm. I'll still use his game, even if he's not playing. You never know, he could he could easily play at some point. Once we knock out this evil tall, though, he's going to have to start playing in order to do his thing. So, I mean, at least by that point, we're already going to have a good lead. Um, should I end him? I mean, nah... I don't see a point in doing that. I don't really see a point in him. Let's just super rod and get all this stuff. Like, if we end him, we'll give him a new hand. I don't really want to do that. So, let's just get back some stuff. We are getting rid of his evil tall, though. So, let Ultra Ball away at the end and the Ultra Ball. We're going to run out of Via Seekers, but whatever. And I think I'm just going to grab a Garb since we're not going to need him. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like we have to dump our last. Ver no, oh, no, we got one Via Seeker left. Never mind. I thought we burned all of them. I mean, I could hold on for Juniper, but at that point, we're already doing damage change, so I think I'll be fine. So let's go Sycamore, dump my hand, and let's see, what do we find? Alright, more energy, which is cool. I could max Elixir. I could have attached the active, too. But hey, you know what? We're still building up a ton of energy. So yeah, let's just go for the Shatter Shot. Knock out the Zeebel Tall EX for... 100 damage. Maybe I should have attached the active, then I actually could have set up a knock in on that baby evil tall. So now he's forced to play. There's our last via seeker, which is pretty cool. He's forced to play now. So it's all down to this. Now we can just damage change this evil tall and do 60 to it. I don't know if that's even relevant, but now we have to wait because my opponent has to play in order to kind of, you know, bring out a Pokemon. I don't know if the auto can see him. The auto can see him. That'll be cool. Got my G Fuel energy drink right here. Mm. This ain't a sponsored video. G Fuel is really good. So, okay, he's playing. Alright. Unless the game made him bring out Shaman. Um, I don't know what's going on. I still want to keep this game. But at the same time, I feel like it's kind of a cop-out. Because it's like, oh, he's not playing. But he's got to be playing now because he brought out the Shaman. So he's got to actually be playing the game. So we just got to wait and see what happens next. Is... He going to do anything if not then um yay me okay i deck dot me deck dot me almost like damage change doesn't matter i maybe basically win at this point there's no way this dude's even gonna be able to beat me uh we just took out his only yeah 
We just need one prize. We just gotta put one more energy onto our Mewtwo, and it is game over. Uh, I think... Yeah, we, we... Okay, the belt. I think the belt... Maybe the belt minimizes damage. I don't know. I'm still gonna include this. I know it's not a real game, but... Hey, you know, we still showed off the deck. Sort of, not really. Not really at, at all, actually. But I'll still include this game. You know, it's been like... This game's been running for at least like over 10 minutes. I don't want to just waste that. And yeah, okay. So it looks like he does either concede or the game timed him out because they were sick of him being AFK. So we get 25 cards. I couldn't see his deck. Hey, I'll take a free win. I'm not going to complain. I don't want to scrap this either just because all this talking and stuff. Like, you know, at one at some point, if I keep talking in this video, I'm going to run out of breath. And then I won't be able to talk anymore. So yeah. All right. So let's see. What are we up against now? Water box? Yeah, I guess it's water box. I don't know if he plays Hoopa or not, though. He could play Hoopa. I mean, all you're really grabbing is Manaphy, though. Maybe, like, a Shaman. Which isn't bad, I guess. And he just immediately concedes. Okay, but yeah, this deck, Quad Mewtwo, is the strongest deck in the metagame. Well, okay, what was this deck? Had to be water box. No equation. Huh? Okay, I genuinely am confused why you would concede that game. That's actually a pretty bad matchup, because Emerald Break can one-shot Mewtwo, why? Mewtwo, even with Parallel City. But hey, you know what? Free win, I'll take it. We're going to get in those Sun and Moon packs very soon. We're not going to be able to get it by Here we go. Let's find another match with our Quad Mewtwo deck. Okay, wait, what? I thought I clicked play. Really, game? Really, game? I'm joking. All right, let's see. What are we going to play against? Hopefully, it is a good matchup. And let's see, Grass... Dude, I need, I'm gonna start running Volcanium because I'm running into so much grass recently. I'm playing Volcanium, people. I even have this Volcanium idea in mind. I don't want to spoil what that is. It involves, a, it involves a tool card is what I'll say. An, an interesting tool card. So let's flip the coin. Please be Tails. Totodial, why do you let me down? Totodial, you're my favorite coin. You are the coin that I spend over 10 packs for and you keep letting me down. <laughs> Totodial, why do you suck? <sighs> if this is a Vile Plume deck, I'm actually gonna cry because going first against Vile Plume is important, but Totodile just seems to be a you know a jerk and doesn't want to work. So there you go. But what are we gonna get as a start? All right, we're gonna Mulligan a few times, which is not good since it just gives my opponent more cards to work with, which is a little bad. Okay, you know, deck, can you can you start with a Pokemon, please? Like, come on. Thank you. Alright, there we go. So we got a Mewtwo and a Trubbish. This could be a hit or miss hand if he plays Vile Plume. He probably does play Vile Plume. Unless it's like Decidueye. Mm. Mm. Let's find out. Let's just let's find out. So, it's either going to be Lorantis Vile Plume, which I think might be a little worse, because. I mean, Lorantis does struggle to. It, three shots. Alright, so it is going to be Decidueye. He probably does play Vile Plume. Oh, whoops. Okay, I actually just moved my OBS thing. I have OBS open. Every time it's my opponent's turn, I have OBS open so I can kind of see what's going on with my base cam. But yeah, I did not mean to move that guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. He puts a belt on, so he definitely plays Lugia and Tauros. But if you can't get those in play, which is good. I mean, once we get Garbodor going too, we're good. Um, I mean, hopefully these extra cards that he drew didn't screw me over. There's an Ultra Ball. Please get rid of, like, really good stuff. A Daytrix? That's actually not too bad. He plays Via Seeker, which probably means he does not play Vile Plume. So that's a good sign, I guess. So there's a Shaman. Please do not get Decidueye. Even though if he gets, somehow, if he pulls off a Miracle and gets all three Decidueyes, he can't even knock out Trubbish, because Trubbish has 70 HP. Which is nice. I don't, maybe, like, Garbage or Wally would be, like, a really bad idea. But it would be funny, though. So there's an Ultra Ball getting rid of N and an Escape Rope. Okay. Alright, what does he get? A Lugia? Alright, so I guess, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of surprised he didn't grab Tauros. He probably thinks I'm playing Mewtwo Y again, you know, that's a funny thing you do with this deck, you'd be like, huh, this deck ain't Mewtwo Y, boy, it is quad Mewtwo, it is the deck that took 8th, or I think it actually did make 8th place at Anaheim, and like, I think it was Seniors. So there's a Sycamore. Oh boy, can he get that turn 1 Decidueye? <laughs> We can always damage change around it. Alright, nice! He doesn't actually get much. Okay, there's a garb. So we'll float that. We'll do this. We'll do this. And we'll end him. I mean, he might have a good hand. 
or a bad hand. I mean, he didn't get any situations going. Alright, we didn't get any Mewtwo's. I was hoping we could get a Mewtwo. We need to start doing our Max Elixirs. I mean, we get Max Elixir to Trubbish. And then, like, Acid Spray. I'm joking, that'd be horrible. So let's go with Shatter Shock. Fourth 40. Getting some damage on the board. We need to start getting a Mewtwo down, though, soon. We can build up damage change. All is good. Um, so let's see if he can get the Decidueye going. Still no Fortunate Planes have come down, so that's a good sign. There's Oh, he has to get rid of two of his energies. That is actually pretty big. Grabbing a Daytrix. So, is he going to manually evolve? Okay, it looks like he is. If he doesn't get the Decidueye going, we can knock out Daytrix. Hmm. So, we see DC going on Lugia. So, I guess he's going to retreat. There's a Sycamore. Getting rid of A. Okay, he got rid of even more. I think that might be his last energy. I don't think Decidueye decks play any more than that energy. There's a male for nothing. Is it, This dude is getting really unlucky with his fortunate place. Male, if you fail again, I'm going to be happy. What? Yo, this dude is getting so unlucky. Does he not play Force Giant Plants? I guess he doesn't. He just immediately scoops. And we get 25 coins. I mean, that matchup was really good. That was a really good matchup. Um, once we, if we got the Garbodor going, it would have been even better, too. So that was nice. We're kind of just intimidating people with this deck. They're, they we're making people think it's Mewtwo YEX, when in reality, it's Mewtwo. Just straight Mewtwo. So, we'll find another match with our deck. We're getting really lucky right now, guys. Like, my opponent is just... They just keep... They just keep conceding. But we're getting lucky, so... This deck is magical. Mm. Alright, on all Psychic deck, this is a better matchup. If it's Lunala, though, that's kind of bad because Lunala is weak to Dark, not Psychic. I mean, Lunala doesn't the positive there. It's weak to Dark, not Psychic, so... That's a good sign for Lunala, anyways, so... Alright, can we win the coin flip? We do. That is awesome. Let's do this. Can we have an explosive turn one? Let's find out, folks. Find out on the next episode of PDCGO. Okay, uh, that's... Okay, this hand's actually not too bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. We can get a guard with a float on it. We have to burn one float, but that's fine. Alright, so what are we going to top deck? Oh, Alakazam. This is, I think, this might be our one of our better matchups for weakness, because we can one-shot Alakazam before they can one-shot us. Because if we get Garbin play, their abilities are shut down. Which is cool. He plays DCE too? Hmm. Okay, I get, he probably plays Espeon, which is actually a little scary, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he does play Espeon. That's going to be fun. Hopefully, he does not get an Espeon to play. Hopefully, he only plays a 2-1 copy, like most Mewtwo Y lists. I don't know. Okay, there's this thing on my floor that keeps annoying me because it's making noise. All right, let's draw an extra card. I guess we'll draw more cards. Why not? Just keep it going. Okay, that is a hand, to say the least. So, he does play Parallel City, so we should play down a bunch of Pokemon. So, really, Mewtwo? I mean, I know you're quad Mewtwo and all, but I didn't expect all of you, so let's just Ultra Ball away the Mewtwo and the Olympia, and let's just grab a Trubbit. We could grab Shaman, but there's no point. So all of our mechs are in the deck, and all right, eight energy, so three of our Psychic Energy are prized. So that's something to keep in mind. So let's drop down the Trubbish. Let's float it. Let's mail. Can we find a Max Elixir? We can. All right, nice. So let's do Max Elixir. Hopefully this hits. We only have eight energy, so it's a little... The chances aren't as good, but... Okay, we got it. All right, nice. So we can put a Psychic Energy on Mewtwo. I'm actually going to float the active. At some point, we can retreat the Mewtwo, right? And bring out the Mewtwo that we max elixir So let's see, what do we find? More energy. We can just put all the energy on one Mewtwo. Let's go with Trainer's Mail for more energy. Okay, don't mind if I do. Um, hmm, I'm going to spread this out. Yeah, I'm going to spread this out. That Espeon is looking a little scary. So I'm just going to spread out the energy just a little bit. So, you know, just when Espeon, if it ever comes down, then we have something to kind of work with. Um, because, again, Psychic does hurt us, but we can hit him for weakness, too. So I think if we're building up a couple Mewtwo's, we should be okay. If we just build up one, he could just bring out an Espeon and, you know, side beam me, and then I can't attack. And then, you know, if it fails, and yeah, bye-bye. So that's why I'm going to build up another Mewtwo, just in case. Um, so we have at least two Mewtwo's to kind of use. So there's a Lily. Okay, he can draw four cards, or actually three. It's not too many. We're probably going to end him, too. There's a Parallel City. I wasn't planning on playing anything else on the bench, so that's fine. Like, Shaman, it's not bad, but it's such an easy target for Mega Alakazam. But we see it concede. I... 50 coins, jeez. Let's see what... What kind of... You know, so we did run 2-2. Two, two. Hmm. Well, then. 
which he didn't play Baby Hoopa, which is kind of surprising. Brock's Grit, I don't think that deck needs that, but hey, I don't make things up. But I mean, this deck is making everyone concede today, dude. Like, I'm not complaining. It's easy wins for the... I, you know what? I should just play this deck more often if it's just making people... This is confirmed... This deck is now confirmed the new best deck to grind the ladder with, guys. Forget Latios Donk. Forget Decidueye Donk. Forget... You know, whatever other decks you thought were going to trend ladder. This deck is the best. Because apparently it makes everyone concede very quickly. So there you go. Alright, Water. Mm. Water Box could be a bad matchup with the Rough Seas. Rough Seas is so OP. And I know I heard about that new um, Dark Patch Water card. Water Patch or Aqua Patch. Whatever it was called. It's looking good. I don't know why everyone was saying it's good with Prime Arena. It's clearly going to be good with Lapras or Huntail. I think Huntail is the better option. Because it's a stage 1 you can use with Evolutions. So there is... Botafogo. Very eyebrow raising. That's one of those names where it's like, raise an eyebrow. Alright, ah, oh, we don't go first. Boo. Boo, we lost the coin flip. So, yeah, and I can't even see what my hand is. Okay, why? Is it just me, or have I gotten mostly, like, a bunch of VS Seekers when I want to sick more? That's happening way too often, it's kind of scary to me. It's kind of scaring me. So this is probably water box. If not, I'm going to actually be kind of happy. But if it is, what is? Okay. I mean, Lapras can't one-shot us. Okay. Unless it Blizzard burns. Or Ice Beans us. But again, we do play Olympia, right? And Center Lady, so... Pardon me. It's not that bad. Um, I mean, as long as he's not one-shotting us, I think we might actually be in for an easy matchup. Uh, as long as we get a Belt on before he can Belt and didn't one-shot us. I mean, Belt's the only way we can prevent a one-shot, but... If we can prevent that, I'm going to be happy. So let's drink some more uh, GQ. Mm. Grabs Reg Ice. Reg Ice is a problem. That is... we Damage change, I don't think, works on Reg Ice. Like, I'm fairly confident. Hold on, doesn't it? Let me see. Mm, eh, might, I don't know. Prevent all effects of attacks. Yeah, effects of attacks. There you go. So he has to get rid of a water energy, and it looks like he plays Rough Seas. Plays it a little early, though. I would have held on to that, but hey, I'm not, you know, whatever. I mean, okay, he needed to do setup, I guess, but still, I would have held on to that. Uh, Red Ice is a little scary, but as long as he's playing another Pope on his bench, then I'm fine. Because then we can kind of just damage change. We do play three life standards, and it looks like he is and going to end us. I don't think he had a Sycamore in his discard. Nope. Okay, so we are going to get hit with an end, which is awesome. Let's see. Will we find a better hand? I like I'm I'm real I'm happy we aren't losing all these VS Seekers. I'm just hoping he doesn't hit any max elixirs here. Or if he even gets any. So let's see, what is our hand looking like? Okay, not too bad. That's actually a good hand. Alright, just drops mana feed, nothing else. Oh boy, another max elixir. This game is spoiling me today. One max elixir, boom, it hits. Alright, nice. Let's go max elixir. I number do. And nice. I'm just gonna stack the energy on that Mewtwo. We can float or Olympia down the road. So let's go Sycamore. Let's see what do we get. We get a belt. Nice. No Trubbish though. I really think a Garbo would be good. So. Yeesh. Still no Garbo. We're gonna Max Elixir. He might be able to pull off a knockout if he can get the belt. So let's go Max Elixir again. I mean, this Mewtwo is a tank. In before he drops down SBM. Uh, do we have an end in the discard? No. We're gonna have to pass. We're just gonna have to pass for now. Um, like, if I started to do Shatter Shot, it'd do zero damage, so we might as well just put all the energy on the bench. There's no point in doing anything else. So there's another water. Can he find a Max Elixir and an Energy Switch and a Fighting Fury Belt to take the knockout? He will need those three cards, and that's a lot to ask for. So we may get really lucky here, and he may not be able to pull that off. So let's just hope he doesn't pull that off, and we get a Bueno Lucky. And I want him to end me, too. I mean... How many, how many, how many, how many, how many, yeah. We are, I'm not looking into discarding all my VSC here so early on. Hex Maniac, okay. So I guess he just had a dead hand. I might just Lysander out that Red Ice, or no, Shaman maybe. Because then we get damage on it, and then we can knock it out with a damage change, so. Who knows, so there's a Collect. Can we please get an end? We play four. Why game? <laughs> Don't know what's going on here. It's gonna keep putting out. We can knock him out, Shatter Shot. Ah, <sighs> really? Like. I may as well just Lysander out Shaman and just force him to, like. I mean, if he gets an energy switch, 
does he play energy switch? He hasn't played a single max or energy switch. I really don't want to discard all these via seekers when okay, you know what, whatever. Let's we have to we got we gotta do we gotta get Garbodor. We got we gotta lose some so many various seekers, but whatever. There's parallel. Hmm, okay, let's transmail. Can we find a float stone? No, we get an end of our own, which I'll take. I'm not using that last via seeker, I'll tell you that right now. Hmm. We need to find Trubbish. So. Actually, you know what? No, what we can do. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. We'll grab... Hmm, I might actually grab Shaman here. No, wait, he hexed Maniac. That's never mind. Yeah, okay, we'll grab Gar... We'll grab Trub. We're actually gonna retreat this Mewtwo and then hit him with a Shatter Shot. No, but then damage... To this is a really weird spot. Like, we can hit him hard with Shatter Shot, play the Parallel City, and then knock him out again with Shatter Shot if he can't find anything. I mean, I guess we'll do that. You know what? We'll go for the play. I, it might not be the best play, but whatever. We'll go for it. We'll Parallel City and make him do less damage. I know we won't be able to set up a damage change, but we can get a ton of damage on this thing. And then maybe next turn we can just knock out that Reg Ice. I think that wasn't the bad. I mean, we're getting so much damage on this Lapras. It just threatens him to be knocked out easily. And if he decides to do Blizzard Burn GX, we'll just be a secret for Center Lady. So there's a Sycamore, and all right, he did have this. He did have the Energy Switch, so that option was done for. There's a Belt going on to. Wow, Lapras. Okay, another Lapras. Can he power it up though? Max Lixer, please fail. Please fail. Please. Please fail! No, uh, usually when they take like five minutes to grab an energy, it fails. Dang it. Please fail. Please. No. Oh my god, it hits again, didn't it? Ah, uh, if this dude attacks with that Lapras, this is actually gonna be bad. Okay, experience shot on Reg Ice. Okay. And there's a Shaman, oh god. If this dude pulls off that Lapras, then my plan will be thwarted. Rough Seas. Oh, that makes things even worse. There's Max Elixir. I mean, if he does, we can still do the Center Lady damage change plan, so it's not the end of the world. That was a pretty big turn for my opponent, though. I'm not gonna lie. So he actually does go with the Ice Beam and GX play, which I am fine with. There's an Olympia. Mm, my god. He's still doing 160 though. So even if we center lady, we're only healing 60. So yeah, he'd still be able to do 160 and knock me out. Hmm. We need to attack though. We're gonna have to do the Olympia. We're gonna get knocked out either way. We might as well let it be a seeker. Damage change would be the stupidest place. So let's just shatter shot and knock him out. I had no choice. We're gonna get knocked out from this other Lapras though. He didn't power that thing up. Maybe he'll reg ice me. If he reg ices me, then I'll damage change that Lapras or the mana fee. So let's take two prizes. What are we gonna get? Nothing. Hoping for like a float we can put on Trubbish, try and build up that Mewtwo. I mean, we're not in the worst position. We need to build up another damage change, but we only have one be a secret or max elixir left. Which is bad. There's a Palkia. There's an end of four. Alright. So that's a little rip. I th how many Sigmores have we burned? Let me see. Two. Alright, we can get one. Alright, let's see. What do we get? Alright, look at that. We do get the Sigmore. We'll probably just end of the four, though. There is a Trainer's Mail. Okay, so what does he find? Let's see. Max Elixir. Hmm. Okay. Man, this. If you didn't get that. Oh, if you didn't get the Lapras powered up so quickly. We would have been in a really good spot, but he powered it up, so it's rip. Go on the Palkia, though. I mean, we can. St it's the win isn't out of the picture. We can still damn. No, we can't. Move. It's not gonna be out. What am I saying? What am I even saying? 160, Mewtwo, you are a legend, but unfortunately, you cannot defeat a Lapras. We're gonna have to bring out Trubbish and take the hit. I don't want to, but we got to. Can we get another Mewtwo? No. 
If I build up that, though, it's just gonna get a thing if he finds a belt. Oh my god. How many belts has he played? Just one. We might get off lucky, though. Yeah, we gotta do it, man. We gotta do it. He can't attack me, though, again. Because of Blizzard Burn's effect. So that's a good thing. I'm just gonna belt that and do whatever. We'll go with the end play. I need to burn that belt. Alright, what do we get? No, we didn't get Max Elixir. Dang it. I didn't want to get the Via Seeker either, man. Of all the cards we could have gotten. Alright, let's pass. Now, he could attack him with Reg Ice, but... If he does, then... He might have just trapped the Reg Ice. That might actually be good. And gets the belt, too. Oh, that's so annoying. Hmm. Boy, I am not happy right now. See what he goes with. Most likely Reg Ice. That's the most logical play. Okay, so he is. Alright. How many live standards have we gone through? Two. We only got one left and one via Seeker. And I don't know if my live standard is prized or not either, man. So here's Resistance Blizzard knocking out the Trubbish. I mean, if I felt it, it would have survived, but then I wouldn't be able to retreat. Hmm. <laughs> Reg Ice, man. My favorite card in Pokemon. Alright, we'll bring up Mewtwo. <sighs> okay, there's Garb. Even though it has to have a belt on it, but whatever. Let's energy that. Let's end him to three. I mean, you can still retreat and knock me out the lap brass. I don't just... There's no hope this game. There is little to no hope right now, guys. I... I generally do not see how we can win this. So... I, yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna be able to win this, guys. We're not through retreating to Garb. Oh, that fighty free ball in the lap brass is killing me, guys. I just can't do anything right now. I just can't do anything. We might as well just take the all. I might even just concede at this point. I don't know. So resistance blizzard for 70. Yeah. There's a Mewtwo. Okay. It's looking up, but very rarely. Very thinly, I guess. I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's go with male. Okay, Sycamore. That's good. I wish I could float that, but I can't, so. Let's psychic the Mewtwo. Let's go with the Sycamore. Can we get out of the slump? Okay. Not the worst. Let's go with Max Elixir. And it fails. Dang it. Mmm. I should have attached the other Mewtwo. Man. Hmm. Ultra Ball. Can it save us? Let's get rid of Mewtwo and Ultra Ball. We need to... What can we grab? Like, there's nothing to grab, man. Hmm. We only got one energy left. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, is it even possible to win at this point? Like, I should have touched it on YouTube, but whatever. I mean, the max list are failed anyway, so it honestly does not matter too much. Like, I'm thinking maybe we could build up the Mewtwo for Shattershot, and then just knock out, sh try and, I mean, we're not going to be able to build enough energy up in time to take out Lapras. Alright, we'll pass, and then we'll mail, and maybe we can find a Lysander, and like, maybe, I don't think we can trap anything though, like, he's got 7 energy in play, how many in the discard? 3, so, he, 10 energies used so far, he's gotta have one left, oh, there's Lysander, oh boy, if he retreats into Lapras, it is a game over, well actually no it's not, because then he has to lose all the energy, so that's actually not a bad thing, plus the Garbers is in play, so, no, no, he's taking the position blizzard to knock out my dog. Shut up. Jesus, alright, so he knocks me out. And I'm in trouble. I cannot do anything. Rather than my own Mewtwo. <laughs> this, I don't think I can win. Okay, there's a Sycamore. I do not need that right now. Let's go with Trainer's Mail for Via Seeker. We're just gonna have to hope he has no energy left. Palkia. He's got to retreat. If you find it, yeah. whatever he, I bring up, he finds energy on, he gets to retreat. So. I don't know. Uh, he, he's. I, how many energy switches he used? Yeah, he's got one left. Uh, what do I bring up? Doesn't matter. 
I mean, I guess let's bring up the donkey. I, I don't know. I think we lost. I there's I don't think there's a way out of this. I don't think there's a way out of this, guys. I think we lost. We, yeah, he's gonna be able to retreat. We just gotta hope he doesn't. Yeah. Oh, he took out Garbodor, that's right! I'm an idiot, I thought Gar was in play! Well, dude, whatever. He had the win, probably, anyways. I don't know why you had to lie send her out that. You just wasted time, thanks. Thanks for being a time waster, kid. Uh, a bit of a, a bit of a loss, but hey, you know what? I mean, it's 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 a matchup that is iffy. The rough seas, I think, can screw you over sometimes. Um, the free retreat, the reg ice is super goddamn annoying. I mean, I hate reg ice with a passion, dude. That card is so aged, but it is what it is. Okay, here we go, guys. We're gonna find another game with our deck. I didn't really get many good games. I played against the Lapras Bar Toolbox deck, which I ended up losing to, and I don't really want to include that. I might have to, I don't know. But a lot of my games are just people conceding straight away. And yeah, I don't really want to include those, so we're gonna kind of just skip through that. We're playing against Charizard Champ. Let's see what my boy Charizard Champ is actually playing. And we'll flip the coin. Do we win it? Totodile, why do you suck so much, man? I'm switching over to Chikorita. You know what, Totodile? You suck. You suck, Totodile. All right, well, it's fine. We get the Mewtwo start. We get the Trubbish too. This hand is actually kind of decent, too. We can parallel lock, and we can even ultra ball, get rid of light. Okay, this hand, we can play it, but shut it out, you're supposed to win. So, hopefully, he doesn't play Vile Plume, because we need to get at least one Flowstone on our Trubbish. He's not going to be able to knock it out, because luckily Trubbish has 70 HP and not 60 like it used to. So, as long as he doesn't really get anything crazy this turn, we can actually start going, and yeah. It'll be good. Pardon me. So, here we go. Yeah, I just gotta wait for my opponent, and just take some time, and then uh, tick on the clock. Tick, 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 tock. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, and he gets the Force Giant Plants. Dude, that's annoying. So he gets the Force Giant Plants. Does he play Vile Plume or not? Alright, so there's one male. He's probably gonna be able to get Decidueye going this turn, but I mean, if he doesn't, then I'm gonna be pretty happy. Level Ball, oh, this is gonna get Daytrix, dude. Dang it. Alright, does he get the Daytrix? No, he grabs Oddish, so he does play Vile Plume. If he gets a Vile Plume and plays this turn, I am going to be screwed. There's a Gloom. Does he get the Vile Plume? Please do not get Vile Plume and play. Please have a dead hand. Lugia, okay, that's still not Vile Plume. And Sycamore. Ah, please do not get Vile Plume. Ooh, he actually has discards both a Decidueye and a Vile Plume, which actually kind of sets it up for Revitalizer, which is a little scary. Trainer's Mail, all right. As long as he doesn't get the Vile Plume play, I'm fine. And, alright, you already did Sycamore, you can't end me, boy! So yeah, that's good. There's a, right, That's his last mail. Please just have a dud mail. Please have a dud mail. Please. And, ha! That's a dud mail. Alright, nice. This is fine. As long as he doesn't get it. Please don't get Vile Plume play. <laughs> hmm. He hasn't gotten a Decidueye play either, which is good. Again, once we get a float on Trubbish, then we basically are set. So he gets a DC on Lugia and a pass. There we go. And, alright, so we can Parallel City him. I guess we'll make him have Ledge Bench. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but whatever. So we'll Belt the Active. We'll Ultra Ball away these two guys. And I guess... Shame Both Shaman Surprise. Really, game. Really, now. Let's just grab Mewtwo. I was thinking to grab another Trubbish. But I feel like getting, we need to get a Mewtwo down for Max Elixir, so let's see, what do we get? No energy, but we do get three Max Elixirs. And we didn't get a float either, I might have to put a belt on this Trubbish. We have Olympia. So, alright, looks like these Max Elixirs are hitting. So they all hit, wow, but we couldn't get energy in our hand. So we'll play down a second Trubbish. We're gonna have to belt the Trubbish, that's really annoying. But we gotta do it, such so as Via Seeker for... Them do I say that my force is frown face? I'm gonna say frown face too because I did not hit an energy, but you know what? We're still not attacking him, which sets him up for damage change. So, I mean, this deck doesn't play any switches, which I think it definitely needs. I mean, you have Olympia, but I think switch could actually be better. So, I think this deck could use some switches. Uh, Lugia could be a little scary, but we're not really gonna focus on Shadow Shot too much. So, he puts a DC on, so he's going for the retreat with the Lugia from the looks of it. Okay, so. We got the tool on Trubbish, which is all that matters. So he can't knock me out with Lugia unless he got like three Decidueyes and a Lysander, but that would be pretty hard to do. 
So, if he doesn't get Valplume play this turn either, we can also float the other Trubbish. We have Olympia, so... I didn't want to belt them, but we have to. Again, if he gets Valplume play... There's Lysander, dude. That's what I was worried about. Uh, just 20, alright. But still nothing else. Be a Seeger. Alright, at least it's an item we can burn. So, that's fine. So, what do we get? Max Elixir, alright. I mean, I don't really mind sacrificing this Trubbish, to be honest with you. I don't mind it that much. So, we can float the Trubbish. We'll do double mail. What do we grab? We'll grab N. We need at least. No, but that gives him a new hand. Let's just grab Finding Fury Ball. Doesn't really matter. Alright, so I don't want to Ultra Ball. I want to hold on to my Parallel City. There's Via Seeker. Alright, we can grab Sigmar with that. Nice, 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 nice. So we'll belt that Mewtwo. We'll Via Seeker for the Sycamore for next turn. And pass. I don't mind him knocking out Trubbish in the active. It doesn't really matter. It's fine by me. I, oh, I should have grabbed uh, Garbodor, but then we'd have no cards in our hand. I need to make these those cards anyways. There's a level ball. Okay, but he is Parallel City. So we grab Rowlet. He hasn't grabbed any Shamans yet, so... Hmm. I mean, he can't really play one down. Alright, there's a Sycamore. Please discard a bunch of important cards. Two ends. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised he didn't end me because he knew I had the Sycamore in my hand. But it just lets us play this hand down even more because then we can Parallel City him. So that's a good sign. And I mean, we're let, it's kind of just letting us build up some damage changing, which is fine by me, so... It's not the worst position in the world. I mean, I actually don't even mind knocking out this Trubbish in some weird way, because then at least he can't, like, you know, fly certain up and trap it. But at the same time, if it lives, then I'm happy to. But we can't really get it out of the active spot, so I'd rather him knock out the Trubbish. But can he find a Decidueye? I, even if he finds one, he can still get a Decidueye going. He can knock me out if he gets Decidueye. Because then he, you know, because Arrow Ball's only doing 40, and we can live with 10 HP, because Trubbish is a monster. Um, so, I mean, if he gets Decidueye, yeah, he can knock us out, but can he find the Decidueye? That is the question. If not, then I'm good. So, let's see. Will he get the Decidueye? Nope, there's Ultra Ball, so, oh, no, that is Decidueye. He might actually grab Vileplume, too, which would be a mistake. So, he gets rid of, okay, so he gets rid of more Pokemon, that's good. More Pokemon, like, especially that Daytrix. So, yep, he is going for the knockout. He can't do Hollow Hunt. Unless he finds a grass. I mean, he could hollow hunt for a bunch of stuff, too. If he finds... Oh. So he's going for the Razor Leaf knockout. And he gets the Vile Plume play, but again, we already have a, a Trubbish with a Floatstone on it. So it's all gravy, baby. We'll see what he does. He's probably going to hollow hunt me. So there's one Feather Arrow, so he's hitting that Trubbish on the bench. We're going to need to get a Garbodor off the Sigmore. So no, he's going for the knockout. Alright, fine by me. Alright, we bring up our Mewtwo. And what do we top deck? Olympia. Wow, the timing could not have been any better. Okay, that actually sets it up for being knocked out. We get more energy. Alright, we could do this. And I guess we can just Shadow Shot him. I know we need it for the damage change, but we can still hit him and then, you know, Lysander out, like, you know, File Plume and damage change it or something. I'm kind of worried about. Lysander, because he can Lysander out the Garbodor and knock it out. But we, okay, we'll, we'll Super Rod him next turn. Yeah, we can do Super Rod next turn, get back the Trubbish. We're going to need it back to uh, start getting more Trubbishes down. This is an intense match, man, I'm telling you. It's an intense match. We can show all the damage chain thing, though, if he does uh, attack us with 90 damage. It's three shot in us too, especially with Feather. No, he's bringing a Lugia. All right, just going for the big bad arrow ball for 100 damage. Okay, so we'll do this. Hmm. Okay, we'll go with Mail first. All right, we'll grab the VS. Actually, no, we'll grab Lysander. We'll keep the damage change combo going. And yeah, let's just bring out File Plume, and then we can just knock it out. So let's just damage change the File Plume. Get all that damage you need to do us off. And put damage on the File Plume. And then we can knock it out with Shatter Shot. And then in the meantime, we can just build up this Mewtwo, and then just have something to one-shot the Lugia. So there is a 4th Giant Plant, which does get rid of my poor little Parallel City. There's a Tauros, so now I'm really... Oh yeah, we definitely need to build up a, a thing on the bench. He plays a Shaman down, but he can't do it, and that just sets it up for damage change potential, which is awesome. And he concedes the game. You know what? I'll take that victory any day of the week. And I think, honestly, guys, I'll just wrap up the video here. 
it's crazy, things happen, and I think I'll see you guys in another video, hope you guys enjoyed, hit the like button if you did enjoy, we are getting close to getting those three Sun and Moon packs, so I'll probably get it in my next video you watch, I'll probably do one on the weekend, and I hope you guys enjoyed, it was tough to find some games with this deck, if I'm going to be quite honest with you, it's a fun deck though, definitely try it out if you're interested, it's a deck, honestly, it's been making so many people concede, it's the best deck in the format, clearly, because it's making everyone concede for some reason, it's easy wins on the ladder, you know what I mean, so I'll see you guys on the PCGO video, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in more PCGO content, help my dying channel, Capital Claws, and I'll see you guys on another video.